Yeah, so after hours of debate, this passed the DFL controlled House, but now it moves to the Republican controlled Senate, where it is very likely to stall. So here is what is in the bill. The bill would allow anyone over 21 to buy cannabis from a licensed retailer and expunge records for those with past misdemeanor cannabis convictions. Supporters say it could help the economy generate millions in tax revenue and expand medical cannabis services. It's something DFL legislators have been pushing for for years, but most Republicans have not supported it for a number of reasons. They not only question the unintended consequences of the bill, but also the timing. It is not a pot bill. It is not any of the reefer madness bill uh, language that we've been hearing. This is a bill about making a rational choice about how to address a substance that has some harms but can be responsibly used by people making adult decisions. Here we are just a few days to the end of session. Democrats haven't passed any budget bills. We've got $4 billion at our disposal, but they refuse to drop their billions in tax hikes. And with just days left in session, we're spending time passing a marijuana bill that has no chance of becoming law. Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka has said this bill is not a priority, and he did say that he's worried about the unintended consequences of legalizing recreational cannabis. However, in a statement earlier this week, he did add that he's open to discussing additional medical uses for cannabis and having a discussion about drug sentencing. Doesn't look like it will become law, but it does get further and further every year. Thanks, Jen. So how does Minnesota compare?